<laughs> I'm on Aruba. Well, I'm here working though, but most people are here enjoying free time. We often talk about the value of um, work and jobs, but what's the value of free time? Today's topic is the sharing economy. Economics, it's uh, the understanding of value creation and value distribution. So obviously, if you are poor, then you need to focus on the first, how to create value, how to make money. But then when that problem is solved, you can shift focus towards distribution, how to use that money wisely, uh, at least not lose it all. On an individual level, this is uh, easy to understand. But in the bigger scale, uh, as society, it's quite hard. So if you make money, should you then pay for someone else? So you end up paying for your neighbor's kids to go to school? Well, we don't call this pay for someone else money, we call it taxation. In the eye of the capitalist, the US economy is currently very strong. A booming stock market, low unemployment rates and so on. But at the same time, millions of Americans can't afford to go on vacation. They have to choose between a career and parenthood. Uh, they can't retire. 40 million Americans are on the food stamp program. Doesn't sound like a strong economy to me. And it doesn't have to be like this. The US, just like any other wealthy nation, have already been through the hard and labor-intensive production phase. It's a rich country. They could decide to choose another path for the future. So let's imagine the future. Um, so we have this high-tech future where technology, AI and robots take most of our jobs. Uh, they can pretty much solve anything with technology. Now there are two scenarios. So first is the capitalist high-tech future. In that scenario, the capitalist, the owner of the technology, takes it all. The winner takes it all and the rest of us are just poor losers. But if the winner takes it all and the rest of us are producers, then the capitalist has no market and no customers. And without customers, the capitalist has nothing. It's game over. So again, obviously, we probably need to shift focus from how to create value to how to distribute it. And uh, that's the second scenario. In a civilized high-tech future, then um, we spend so much more energy, time, focus on how to redistribute wealth so that we create a solid sharing economy. And in a solid sharing economy, no one needs to worry about the costs of free time or sustainability versus linear growth. Or... Now, the point I'm trying to make is not that we will all be able to just spend our days um, in a long holiday on Caribbean islands like this. It's just that we need to understand that the 21st century opens up for a new economy, for a new paradigm, where the winners will be the ones who are really good at distribution rather than creation. What do you think? Do you think uh, tax is theft or any other thoughts? Please share them in the comments and like always if you want more hit subscribe and I'll see you in the future.